Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, we're going to carry on our Meta Business Suite tutorial series showing you how to set up ads in the Meta Business Suite. This is perfect. You want a simple place to set up an ad to build and drive engagement. Just before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's show you how to set up an ad in the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so here we are on the home page of the Meta Business Suite. And in order to get started with setting up your first ad, we're going to navigate to the left-hand menu of the Meta Business Suite, and we're going to click on All Tools. This is going to bring a little pop-up section up. You want to navigate over to the Create section and click on Add. This will then take you to uh, the ad setup for the Meta Business Suite. And there's a wide range of options here. The ones that we want to look for is getting engagement and getting promotions for our post. So the most suitable option here would be Booster Post. If you want something more advanced with getting more leads and sales, I'll include a tutorial in the description box below, which shows you how to set up a conversion ad in the Ads Manager. So we're going to click on Booster Post over here, and that's going to then bring up our Facebook and Instagram posts that have gone up recently. We want to simply scroll down until we find the post that we want to promote, in this example, we will use the interview with Stu Lease. We've just clicked on Boost Post, and that's going to bring up an early preview of what our boosted post will look like. So you can see the text, the URL, the image preview, and also the call to action button. Let's say we want to change this around a little bit. We want to remove the little call to action button. So just go to button label and select no button. If you do want to have a call to action button, quite easy, just select the call to action button that's most suitable for what you're trying to achieve. We're going to navigate down to audience as well, and we're going to click the little pencil button here and edit it. Now the recommendation for boosted posts is to make sure that it's got broad based appeal and not just applicable to a narrow audience targeting. Because as we can see here, the targeting that we can use is a little bit more limited. So we want to target people, let's say they are young entrepreneurs and they have an interest in business. So there's the age targeting. It's easy to just drag it out for your target audience. We want to target all genders and we want to make sure it's just going after people who have an interest in business. Once we find the audience size, we then navigate down to the bottom and press save audience. We're then getting a estimated daily reach and number of post engagements. We then navigate down further to the schedule and duration. Most important thing to remember with this is making sure that you select a budget that you want to use and pull it the bar across here to choose the suitable budget for your post. You also want to choose the duration. Do you want your post to go for and what day would you like it to end? My recommendation would be to have a boosted post for at least five days. And once we've decided on the schedule and duration, we're going to scroll down to the placements. And you can then choose which placements you want your boosted post to appear on. Do you want it on Facebook and Instagram and Messenger? Or do you just want it to be on Facebook? In which case, the targeting and potential audience reach will be reduced. That's entirely up to you and just making sure you have a payment method that is up to date if you don't just cl click on the drop down button here and enter your payment information and you should be good to go and with that said we just scroll up and have a final preview of what the post will look like and if we are happy with that we can either boost the post now 
or we can click the little drop down button and schedule the post for a later date. But we're happy with all of this information and we're going to click boost post now. And congratulations, your ad is in the process of being created. So that's it for today's tutorial, everybody. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.